everybody welcome back to the channel thailand dreaming love letters from retirement my name's ed uh, this will be the third video in the little series i'm doing um of uh, how did i get here you might find yourself in a shotgun shack so i'm um, uh, just going for a little walk first off uh, to show you uh, just where I am now in Cha'am and uh, yeah just have a look at the little village I live in and then I'll go back to the house and I'll show you a little bit of the house and uh, continue with the story so I'm just going to stop for a moment turn the camera around and uh, I'll keep continuing with the narrative okay so here we are this is um sport village this is where i live as you can see most of these houses are the same same basic plan a lot of them are very different inside uh, many many of them are empty there's one empty two empty uh, one with some uh, puppies another empty one there's another empty one here uh, these places are all for sale. Oh, have a look at this. The guy doesn't use it much, but uh, it's a magnificent looking beast. You know, and that's the one he uses in there. But yeah, magnificent looking beast. Pretty sure its name is Thomas. Yeah, so um, in the village here, we have uh, a swimming pool facility for people in the village, or well, for anyone really. It cost a hundred baht to go in there and use the uh, swimming pool, which is about four bucks. Four bucks Australian, something like that. And uh, I don't use it. Um, I did use it once, but there was so much chlorine in there, I just hated it. But yeah, as you can see, there's absolutely zero people. I've only ever seen one guy using it. Yeah, so this is the village. This is called Sport Village. Yeah, so the people that uh, actually run this pool facility here, they are actually like the managers of the of the uh, sport village too. They rent properties out to people and stuff like that. But as uh, anywhere in Asia, or well, I don't know, my experience is Indonesia and here, it's much better to get away from uh, third parties and deal with the people that open own the properties you get a better price so i'm not going to go oh well, i might just go right up to the end here and uh, show you where they're i believe building a new a tesco lotus which is a big shopping complex uh, they usually have like a big like a bit of a mall with a whole heap of uh, other stores and Tesco Lotus is like a I don't know it's like a David Jones or yeah something like that you know like a Target or something you know they have everything they sell food they sell motorbike helmets they sell tampons they sell everything clothing you name it they have it so they're building that up at the end of the street here on what is a semi-main road and um, they've just cleared all the property it was just bush and when we get up there you'll see they're building the workers uh, huts first because they come and live on site for the whole period that they're building the property it's gonna be a little bit noisy there's some machinery and a road up here, so I'll try to speak a bit louder. I'm using a new microphone system. I've just got a Rode Go, which is a wireless uh, system, and I've got a little lavalier mic hooked up to my uh, T-shirt, and it's working wirelessly with the uh, receiver on the uh, clipped onto the phone. So uh, it's a bit of a test run for this microphone. So it's a little bit windy here. Uh, I might have to uh, do an overdub on this a bit later on, but you can see there they're building the um, the workers' uh, sheds. That's where the workers will live while they're building the project. And uh, 
just up the road up there where that motorbike is about now is our markets that open on Monday nights and you can see here this is going to be a pretty big big project so it'll be interesting I hope it isn't Tesco Lotus because uh, they're really handy it'll be really handy to have that here right at the end of the street okay so there's the uh, temple for the facility So here we are in Ta'am in Sport Village and this is where I've ended up. Uh, this video being all about how did I get here. Bloody carb. Local ladies having their morning chat. Uh, my cleaner that I get in once every two weeks lives here. Very nice lady. Now the sun's in front of me now so I'm not sure how the uh, video part is going to come out so um, yeah this is my street the street I live in there are some more a couple more streets like a little cul-de-sac and a and a circle uh, to the left of the uh, swimming pool complex you can see down there so yeah this is where I am now so um, I'm going to stop the video now and I'll continue when I get down home so you can have a look at uh, the house I rent now in Sport Village, Cha'am. Okay, okay, so I'm still walking down the road. I've just reversed the camera. I can't see the screen because the sun's in my eyes, so I think you can see me. Over there behind me is the swimming pool area that we went past before. Yeah, I'm squinting because the sun's in my eyes. You know, old mate Simon advised me get rid of the hat and the sunglasses <laughs> while you're shooting video. I should have uh, worn the hat and the sunglasses when I walked out here this morning. It's bright morning sun. So, yeah. And I've just come out of sitting in the lounge room watching the cricket, so it's really affecting my eyes. So, anyway. As you can see behind me there, um, that's where we bring our garbage and they come and pick up the garbage for the whole complex there. And uh, further on up this road up here, there's a, uh, a circle and a, another little cul-de-sac, a little avenue that has some more houses. So many of these houses are empty here, available for sale, available for renting prices go from between 15,000 to six or seven thousand baht a month which I'll put up on the screen today's rate of what that is in dollars but yeah okay so I'm going to show you now the first house I rented here that I spoke about in the in the uh, yesterday's video so I'm going to stop for a second and reverse the camera so this is the first house I rented here which I was in for a couple of months and then the people that are in there now bought the house. So that's the uh, original place I first rented when I got out of the condo. Yeah, so very glary at the moment. I'll get over here in the shade, as you can see. For rent, I know for a fact they want 15,000 a month for this one. It's a bit exp expensive at the moment. Yeah. This one's empty. This one has some people. And my mate uh, Dragon, the dog over there, is asleep. This one's empty. This one's empty. Oh no, there's a couple of bikes there. There must be someone in that one. Well, that one's been empty for a while and that vehicle's been there since I've been here. So they've abandoned the uh, house and the vehicle. Uh, this one's empty. This one is empty. Uh, I think this one has some people living in it. This one is empty. Uh, it's my neighbor's car. My neighbor up there watering his plants in where he plants, parks the car. This one has some uh, people. This one is empty. This one here is empty. This 
one's empty. Neighbours. Neighbours. And this is uh, the place I rent now. So we'll have a look. So this is where I am in Cha'an. I've uh, equipped myself with some uh, nice plants for the front here. Got some uh, orchids. This one's just thrown one new flower. So mini bamboo, needs a bit of water. And uh, some other hanging plants I've got here. Got an orchid here that's just about to throw some bloom. Okay. My clothes drying rack. There's the bike. Parks in here, locks up in here at night time. So that's where I sit out here in the morning and have a coffee. Okay, so let's have a look in here. So you've seen the previous two videos of uh, in this little series of uh, how I, how did I get here living in Cha'am? Okay, so there's my little, uh, my TV that I brought from Australia that I use as a mirroring screen for when I'm editing videos. Uh, Mac Pro, new 2020 uh, Mac Pro laptop. And uh, the TV that I watch YouTube and television on, although I don't watch much TV. Okay, I've got my uh, wireless printer set up here. Okay, so if we go through, I know the light's not fantastic. You'll see the stairwell that goes up there. And has, there's two bedrooms and another bathroom up there. I have put a video out about this place and uh, I'll put a link to it up above. Okay, this is the downstairs bathroom. And this is the kitchen, a really large kitchen, really large kitchen. And uh, I was pleased to get this, as you will relate to with the story from uh, how did I get here in the previous two videos. It was a bit of a trek, a bit of an adventure getting here uh, because, uh, you know, the condo lady was ripping me off. The condo was too small for me. And then the first house I rented, which was really nice, not quite as good as this. Uh, yeah, and uh, got sold out from under me and I moved, got this place within two days of the, of the news of that. And uh, it's really good. I've got a, uh, a cooktop. I guess I shouldn't, I'm leaving though, I've got the gas turned off and the power turned off to it. I shouldn't have a rag or a cloth sitting on top of the cooktop. But a cooktop and a Western style electric oven. Yeah, I've got this little oven that I use here. You can buy them. It's kind of like an air fryer sort of thing, but uh, yeah, you just whack your... I just had a roast lamb the other day that I did in that. Cooks a roast, a chicken or a um, boneless leg of lamb. Yeah, so, and everything was here. I was really happy to get this place. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is where I am now. This place cost me... Uh, 8,000 baht a month. Yeah, so it cost me 8,000 baht a month, this place. So what I'll do is I'll put a um, a pricing uh, down the bottom here somewhere. I'll put some text in there with what that translates to at today's rates. And uh, yeah, so here I am in Cha'am. Now you know how I got here, where I live, uh, how I managed to get this place. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this little series, little mini series, the first of my, uh, storytelling, uh, adventure. I've got a couple of stories coming up very soon. I've got a, uh, uh, what would you call it? Like, I, I feel bad about calling it a Thai love story because, uh, that's what Simon uses, love story. So I'm going to call it a Thai love saga because it really is a saga. So, and it's funny, it's, uh, yeah, got a fair bit in it. I'll start that within the next two days. So, how did I get the chat arm? Watch the other two videos. I'll put a link up here to those first two videos, or if you subscribe to the channel, you'll uh, have seen those videos or will be seeing them. And so, uh, this little series about how I 
ended up here in Cha'am, how I got to Cha'am, yeah, from Australia. And uh, I live here on a pension, and that's another video, my cost, my living cost, what it cost me to live here, how much I spend, and various other uh, things that I get up to. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down here. I'll put the subscription button in there. I'm looking at the screen. I'm not looking at the camera. So, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Please like the videos or dislike them if you dislike them. Uh, share the videos around and uh, help me build the channel up. I do appreciate comments so much. I really like to hear what you've got to say, what you think of the videos, if you find them interesting, if you find them boring. Well, you know, only boring people get bored. So, yeah, please enjoy and uh, thanks very much for watching. Here we are in my little house in Cha'am. That's the view out the front there. Oh, it's a bit bright. You can't see it. So, yeah. Yeah, so the bike's there, the trusty Forza. I've done a review on the Forza, so uh, you can see that in on the channel as well. So thanks for watching. Ciao for now.